हेलो फ्रेंड्स गुड मॉर्निंग ऑल ऑफ यू हियर आई एम गाड़ेकर सचिन पंडित टुडे वी आर डिस्कस ए विस्पर थेरी वैलेंस सेल इलेक्ट्रॉन पेयर रिपल्शन थेरी ओके सो नाउ डिस्कस ए एप्लीकेशन ऑफ वैलेंस सेल इलेक्ट्रॉन पेयर रिपल्शन थेरी देन वी डिस्कस ए ट्राइगोनल बाय पिरामिडल टाइप ऑफ मोलिकोल्स इन विस्पर थेरी एक्सप्लेन जियोमेट्री ऑफ टी बी पी मोलिकोल्स ओके सो लास्ट लेक्चर वी आर डिस्कस ए वैलेंस सेल इलेक्ट्रॉन रिपल्शन थेरी दिज प्रपोज बाय गिलिप्स एंड न्यूहोल ओके सो इन दिस वैलेंसेल इलेक्ट्रॉन रिपल्शन थेरी इज डिपेंड्स ऑन इलेक्ट्रॉन पेयर ओके दे आर टू टाइप्स इलेक्ट्रॉन पेयर्स आर टू टाइप्स फर्स्ट इज द बॉन्ड पेयर एंड सेकंड इज द लोन पेयर बॉन्ड पेयर इट मींस इलेक्ट्रॉन पेयर इनहोल इन बॉन्डिंग दैट इज बॉन्ड पेयर वॉट इज लोन पेयर इलेक्ट्रॉन पेयर नॉट इन ऑल इन बॉन्डिंग नॉट यूज इन बॉन्डिंग इज कॉल्ड लोन पेयर सो दिस थेरी कैन एक्सप्लेन द सेप ऑफ सिंपल मोलिकूल्स हैविंग बॉन्डेड और नॉन बॉन्डेड लोकलाइज इलेक्ट्रॉन पेयर्स ओके सो दे रिपेल इच अदर फॉर मैक्सिमम डिस्टन्स एंड मिनिमम रिपल्शन एनर्जी ओके सो दिस थेरी एक्सप्लेन ए बॉन्ड एंगल एंड सेप ऑफ मोलिकूल ओके सो ऑल्सो डिस्कस वाय वी नीड टू वैलेंस एल इलेक्ट्रॉन रिपल्शन थेरी बिकॉज लास्ट लेक्चर वी डिस्कस ए हाइब्रिडाइजेशन कंसेप्ट वैलेंस बॉन्ड वीबीटी वैलेंस बॉन्ड थेरी ओके वाय नीड टू हाइब्रिडाइजेशन बिकॉज दे आर not explain in type of bonding okay but here hybridization not explain a bond angle difference between water molecules and ammonia okay water molecules and ammonia has sp3 hybridization and sp3 hybridization its bond angle is 109 degree 45 minutes but actual these bond angles are different in water molecules and ammonia molecules ammonia molecules shows a bond angle such as 100 and 6 106 degree 45 minutes and water molecule shows a 104 degree 35 minutes because of water molecules contain two lone pairs of electron and ammonia molecules contain one lone pair of electron that's why they differ in bond angle because of electron pairs repulsion electron pair repulsion okay there are two types bond pair electron uh, bond pair and lone pair okay so that's why these electron pair repulsion that's why change in bond angle these explain not hybridization concept these explain in whisper theory valence cell electron pairs repulsion theory also explain the why ammonia shows a pyramidal structure and water shows a Uh, tetrahedral that is ammonia shows a <coughs> distorted phi shape uh, what sorry water molecule shows phi shape distorted e irregular shape okay so this is explain in whisper theory also discuss a assumption of whisper theory okay so in this whisper theory is depends on lone pair 
लोन पियर ग्रेटर रिपल्शन देन लोन पियर बॉन्ड पियर ऑल्सो एक्सप्लेन ए लोन पियर बॉन्ड पियर इज ग्रेटर रिपल्शन देन बॉन्ड पियर बॉन्ड पियर ओके सो दिस ऑर्डर ऑफ रिपल्शन बिटवीन द लोन पियर्स एंड बॉन्ड पियर्स दैट इज लोन पियर रोल पियर इज ग्रेटर रिपल्शन देन लोन पियर बॉन्ड पियर ऑल्सो बॉन्ड पियर बॉन्ड पियर ओके सो सेंट्रल एटम मोलिकूस इज सराउंडेड बाय ओनली ए बॉन्ड पियर ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन इट्स वैलेंस सेल द मोलिकूल्स हैज रेगुलर जिम जियोमेट्री If central atoms in a molecules one or more lone pair electron, so they shows irregular geometry. Okay, so this is the concept of assumption of ESPR theory. So today here application of valence cell electron pair repulsion theory. Okay, so shape of molecules. Suppose we explain. a barium chloride so in this barium chloride is a linear types of linear or diagonal types of molecule okay sp2 sp hybridized molecule okay so in this barium dichloride first figure first in this figure first chlorine chlorine is more repulsion and here uh, right side less repulsion because bond angle so chlorine chlorine bond pair is get a repulsion in second example chlorine chlorine is more repulsion and here less repulsion okay so if they far apart near about 180 degree two forms a maximum distance and minimum repulsion they are more stable okay so this bond pair bond pair repulsion that's why they forms a linear or diagonal types of molecule shape of molecule so this explain by vspr so another example formation of <coughs> trifluorochloride okay clf3 molecule formation of clf3 molecule what is the shape of clf3 molecules what is the hybridization of clf3 molecules okay so clf3 molecules it has a sp3 d types of hybridization in this involves a 1s 3p and 1d orbital that is trigonal bipyramidal shape because in which involves a five electron pair okay present a two lone pairs and three bond pair okay three fluorine atoms bonded with central chlorine atom to form a three bond pair and present a two lone pairs okay so that's why formation of clf3 molecules through sp3d hybridization and shape of molecule is trigonal bipyramidal okay so this shape explain in valence cell electron repulsion theory okay so first we discuss a hybridization of clf3 molecule in this clf3 molecules chlorine is a central atom okay what is the atomic number of chlorine 17 okay so what is the electronic configuration of chlorine so we discuss a outer shell electronic configuration of chlorine atom is 3s2 3p5 3d0 okay so this is the outer shell electronic configuration of chlorine atom that is seven electrons are present in 
आउटर सेल ओके सो फ्लोरिन एटम फ्लोरिन एटम्स वॉट इज द आउटोमिक नंबर ऑफ फ्लोरिन इज नाइन इलेक्ट्रॉनिक कॉन्फिग्रेशन वन एस टू टू एस टू टू पी फाइव ओके सो इन आउटर सेल फ्लोरिन कंटेन्स ए सेवन इलेक्ट्रॉन इट हैज नीड ए वन इलेक्ट्रॉन टू कंप्लीट इट्स ऑक्टेट स्टेबली स्टेबल इलेक्ट्रॉनिक कॉन्फिग्रेशन सो दे इंटरैक्ट्स विथ वन क्लोरिन इंटरैक्ट्स विथ इलेक्ट्रॉन विथ वन क्लो क्लोरिन एटम्स टू फॉर्म से वन फ्लोरिन क्लोरिन बॉन्ड सो सिमिलरली थ्री फ्लोरिन फॉर्म से थ्री सी एल थ्री बॉन्ड क्लोरिन फ्लोरिन ओके सो हियर ग्राउंड स्टेट ऑफ क्लोरिन एटम इलेक्ट्रॉनिक स्टेट ऑफ क्लोरिन एटम कंटेन थ्री एस टू थ्री पी फाइव थ्री डी जीरो दे एक्साइट प्रमोशन ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन फ्रॉम थ्री पी एक्स टू थ्री डी वन ओके सो एक्साइटेड स्टेट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉनिक कॉन्फिग्रेशन ऑफ क्लोरिन एज थ्री एस टू थ्री पी एक्स टू थ्री पी वाई वन थ्री पी जेड वन एंड थ्री डी वन सो सेवन इलेक्ट्रॉन्स आर प्रेजेंट इन क्लोरिन एटम ओके सो थ्री अनपेयर्ड इलेक्ट्रॉन्स आर प्रेजेंट एंड टू लोन पेयर्स ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन थ्री एस टू एंड थ्री पी एक्स टू these two electrons these two pair of electrons that is two lone pair of electrons are present and three unpaired electrons these three unpaired electron 3p y1 3p y z and 3d1 interacts with fluorine atoms to form a three chlorine fluorine bonds okay so chlorine has a seven valence electron and one d orbital in this excited state seven electrons are present in chlorine okay so 3s2 3px2 3py1 3pz1 3d z uh, 3d1 okay so chlorine has seven valence electrons and one d orbitals out of which 3 sp 3d hybrid orbitals are occupy Three single unpaired electron and two sp3 hybridized orbitals are occupied by a pair of electron each. Okay, that is three fluorine atoms covalent bond with chlorine atom and forms a three electron pair. Means three bond pairs are formed, fluorine and chlorine. Okay, so here. Pxy interacts with one chlorine to form a first Cl bond. Another second fluorine interacts with Pz to form a Cl F bond. Third fluorine interacts with 3d1 to form a third C, uh, C, uh, Cl F bond. So three fluorine atoms covalent bonded with chlorine atom. Thus. A central chlorine atom is surrounded by five pair of electrons. That is, three bond pair and two lone pairs are present. Okay, so in this excited state, three s two and three p x two is the lone pair of electron, and p y one interacts with fluorine, three p z one interacts with fluorine. And 3d1 interacts with fluorine to form a three fluorine chlorine bonds. There is bond pair. Three bond pairs and two lone pairs are formed. These five pair occupy the corner of TBP. That is trigonal bipyramidal types of molecule. These five pair occupies the corner of trigonal bipyramid the position of lone pair and bond pair suggests the three different geometries to be molecule that is possibility of three structures to clf3 molecules 
ओके सो फर्स्ट इज द टू लोन पियर्स प्लेस्ड एट ए एक्सीएल पोजिशन ओके देर आर थ्री पॉसिबिलिटीज थ्री डिफरेंट जियोमेट्रीज ऑफ मोलिकुल दैट इज पॉसिबिलिटी ऑफ थ्री स्ट्रक्चर्स ऑफ ए सी एल एफ थ्री मोलिकुल फर्स्ट इज द टू लोन पियर प्लेस्ड एट ए एक्सीएल पोजिशन वन लोन पियर at a axial position and another is a another is a equatorial position and third possibility is two lone pairs are at equatorial position and these two lone pairs are present in equatorial position is more stable possibility okay so here three images first second third okay so in this trigonal bipyramidal out of these three possibilities in structure third there is least repulsion third structure there is least repulsion all five pairs and hence this is most correct structure in this structure the equatorial two lone pairs decrease the angle between axial and equatorial bond pairs to form say 90 degree to 87.5 degree okay so why they are decrease 87.5 degree because lone pair lone pairs repel these two lone pairs repels and bend the molecule okay so first structure lone pairs are present in two lone pair present in axial position okay so they are least stable they repel lone pair bond pair repulsion greater than third three bond pairs are repel okay so these repulsion minimize to change the position okay so one lone pair present in axial and second lone pair present in equatorial so these are also more repulsion they are less stable but in third lone pairs are present in equatorial position these more stable structure and in its fluorine fluorine axial fluorine and equatorial fluorine bond angle is 87.5 degree because of equatorial and axial fluorine in which bond pair are present okay so these bond pair bond pair repulsion is greater so third is the more stable and these shape of molecules explain a whisper theory valence cell electron repulsion theory so this is the hybridization concept of clf3 molecule okay so ground state electronic configuration of chlorine atoms is like this one unpaired electron okay so excited state of chlorine atom one p electron promotes to the d orbitals and forms a three unpaired electron these three unpaired electron pairs with fluorine atom sorry here represent a chlorine but actually this present a fluorine atom okay so to forms a 1 cl and 3 fluorine that is sp3d hybridization okay and its geometry is trigonal bipyramidal and shape is the trigonal bipyramidal so here structure of clf3 two lone pairs are present in equatorial okay so in equatorial position two lone pairs and one chlorine is present but in axial two chlorines are present okay so this is the structure of uh, clf3 molecule okay if any queries then comment me thank you for watching this video have a nice day next lecture we are discuss a 
another example of valence cell electron repulsion theory such as a formation of bonding and shape of clo2 cl2o molecules dichlorine monoxide okay also discuss a formation of brf5 molecules okay so <clears throat> now here we are stop here thank you for watching this video have a nice day